Recently, we had a question from David Ward who sent us something over email and he wanted to know, is it possible to compile a .NET application into a single file like you can with Java? And what I want to tell you is you absolutely can with .NET 5. In fact, I've got Jason Twichell, one of our lead instructors here from Coder Foundry, who's going to show you the two ways to produce a single file executable with .NET 5 under Visual Studio. All right, let's take a look at what's involved in creating a single file executable from a .NET Core console application. So I'm going to fire up Visual Studio here. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue and create our application. File project, console application on my recent project templates. And I'll say um, single file exe demo. And hopefully I don't already have one there. I've recently updated Visual Studio, so I might have a slightly different wizard than you. This is my target framework. Let's take a look and see what happens. Really, the magic is not in the creation of the project, and the project's going to stay a one-liner. Uh, I'll keep this open with a read key, and now it's all about the publish. So let's take a look at our build step here, and we're going to look at publish single file demo. There's a number of different options in here, but I'm partial to maybe just this click once, and I can go next. I can choose the output directory that I'm interested in. So let's see, for me, I'll choose this temporary and hit single file deploy. But what I'll do really is I'll delete this and I'll create a new folder here, just in case there was stuff in there already. Single file deploy. I'll get rid of that one. And then I'll select it. So that's where we're going to publish to. And now it's going to be from a uh, CD, DVD, or USB, presumably. We'll skip past the settings. We'll skip past the click one manifest stuff. And we'll get right here where all the action is. So on this last screen of the wizard, we've got this deployment mode. We don't really want to use framework dependent. We want to use self-contained. So I'm going to choose self-contained. And now the target runtimes can include Linux and Debian and all sorts of other operating systems. But I'm going to choose WinX64. And now let's take a look at file publish options. When I expand that, I get this produce single file. And now if you're working through the wizard and you stumble across the file publish options and you check the produce single file, you probably think that you're on the right path. Well, let's go make sure that that's the case. So I created a publish profile. I'm going to publish. And then we're going to go out to the directory and see our single file. All right, well, that looks like it succeeded. So I'm going to go out to the C temporary and single file deploy. It looks like there's a lot of files here. So what are we looking at here? Actually, what we're looking at is the standard set of files that you would get. And we can get rid of a lot of these. We can get rid of the PDB. We can get rid of the application, the setup, the launcher, and this application files folder, leaving us with four DLLs external to the executable and the executable itself. And if we scroll all the way over, we can see that the executable, 52,000, it looks like it under delivered to me because a single file is a single file and this is not a single file. In fact, if I run this by double clicking the XE, this still works. Without any of these, it won't work. So it's really not a single file. But let's take a look at another possible publish avenue. Let's get out of the visual publish here. And let's bring up my view and my integrated terminal. So down here, I'm going to access my command history. And let's take a look at this 
command. It's .NET publish, so it's a publish command, dash r win dash x64, so I'm choosing my platform. And now here's what I was able to select in the UI. It's a flag of publish single file equals true. But look what else I can do here on the command line. I could give it another switch. Include native libraries for self extract equals true. And then I'm going to specify the output directory as being C temporary real single file deploy. And if that's not there, it'll be created. Let's see if it works. Well, thankfully, it looked like something happened. So let's go out and we'll go out to the real single file deploy, which was not there before. And now take a look. We've got two files, but this one right here is not needed. This is the programmer database file for debugging. If I delete this, we're left with a single executable file. It's definitely bigger than the other one, but double click and we got a running application. As you can see, it's relatively easy to produce a single file application with .NET 5. Hey, if you would like to learn how to code and you want to break into the exciting world of software development, go to learn.coderfoundry.com. This is our brand new self-paced course that will teach you how to code and prepare you to get that first job as a software developer. Good luck and keep coding.